Hey guys, welcome to Flicks and Comics, Jojo here. So as we all know, this pandemic has really taken a toll on us as, you know, a nation, but also as moviegoers, guys, this industry has taken a hit and it sucks. And I miss the movie going experience like crazy. But guess what, guys, there is a loophole and it's called the drive-in. <laughs> you know, of course, certain movie theaters are opening and they are premiering um, certain movies, which personally, I don't feel very comfortable with going to a theater, but that's just me right now. Um, but the drive-in is an excellent way to escape, guys. It is awesome. Um, it reminds me of my childhood and luckily the local drive-in save the day for us. They were showing Tenet and they were showing New Mutants, both of which we hadn't seen. So, you know, we had to make it a double feature, guys, just like the old days. It was awesome. Plus, our drive-in is like from the 50s or something. So it really gave you that like old school vibe and it was awesome. So exhilarating. I highly recommend if you guys have a local drive-in, check out what's playing, guys, and go support it. Um, you know, through this pandemic, it's an awesome alternative. You don't even have to get out of your car if you don't want to. Great, easy way to watch the latest movies. All right, guys, so let's get into Tenet. This is spoiler free, so you don't have to worry. I'm aware that many people don't have access to this movie right now or don't want to be going to theaters, which I totally get. So I'm going to keep it spoiler free. And that's going to be difficult because this movie is so complex, but I'm going to do it for you guys. <laughs> Can I just start this off by saying Christopher Nolan, the director and writer of this film, is an absolute filmmaking genius, guys. Like, I really believe that. The first movie I ever seen of his was Memento back in 2000, and my mind was blown then. Slowly but surely, he kept building his filmography and kept giving us hit after hit after hit of these mind-bending experiences. And I personally will forever be grateful because I need that in my life. I think as a viewing audience, we get very sucked into this Hollywood formula of screenwriting where we kind of already know the beginning, middle, and end beats of a film before we even go into it. I mean, they kind of outline it for us in all of the trailers that we see. But I think what Chris Nolan does so well is he keeps things a mystery. So he keeps you guessing and that's refreshing to me. I love seeing his movies because I never know where it's going. I never know what I'm going to be getting and where I'm going to end up at the end of it. When you go watch a Nolan film, you know it's going to be an experience in and of itself. And that's why I think he is a mad genius because also all the concepts for his movies are insane. And a lot of times he writes them too. So big props to Chris Nolan. Um, I know he doesn't really need them for me, but I just wanted to express that and my admiration of the guy, because he's just insanely good at executing. Um, and that goes with every aspect of the film, too. Tenet is definitely on brand with the quality you would see out of a Nolan film. I mean, starting with the out-of-the-box concept itself, um, you know, dealing with time and physics, I'm actually not going to get super into that right now because that, that would be spoiler territory, which this is a spoiler free review. So also, I just don't want to confuse you guys before you go in and watch it. Um, but yeah, just know that it is a mind blowing concept. And it's nuts to me that Christopher Nolan wrote the screenplay. And I would love to have known just the process that went into writing this and conceptualizing these theories. I mean, that's madness. And then going from that and transitioning it into real life and filming and executing all of that as a director, just insane. I mean, what I wouldn't give to be on that set. 
just would be a dream come true, but I can't wait for the behind the scenes for that movie. Aside from that, you had great cinematography, great sound design, but a highlight for me was definitely the soundtrack, guys. Oh my goodness, I was at the edge of my seat with that score. So huge props to Ludwig Goranson. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. He's also done work on Black Panther and on Creed, so to add this on top of that resume, dang. Overall, acting was great. I mean, the standout for me was definitely our protagonist, who was played by John David Washington. Stellar job throughout. Robert Pattinson, amazing as well. Gosh, I cannot believe this guy did Twilight all those years ago that scarred me personally, but <laughs> he's just fantastic now. And thank you all for recommending that I go back and watch some more of his filmography because I still have to um, catch up with that. But I did see him in this and excellent job from him. Elizabeth Debicki was awesome as well in this. Very smooth. I liked her character. I'm not gonna get too into it, but yeah outstanding job from her as well. Kenneth Branagh, how intimidating. He was such a crazy, cruel villain in this and I, I loved it because the last time I saw him I think was in Dunkirk and before that Harry Potter so I had never really seen him in this type of role but he killed it. He was great. So yeah, acting awesome all around. So this part of my review is going to be a little bit tough for me to explain because the minor little qualms that I did have with this movie are hard to get into without going into spoilers. So all I'm gonna say is that I think that this movie kind of gives you too much all at once. Um, I'm sure it was purposely done, but it definitely can, I think, deter someone from investing more time in it. So if, if somebody, I can imagine people starting to watch it and just being like, "Ugh, this, this is too crazy. I'm just gonna stop it now. I'm gonna walk out or, you know, I, I'm not gonna finish this movie. This is too much. I can see that happening with this movie and it's unfortunate because there is definitely a payoff. This movie has several moving parts to it. So you have to kind of be patient and try to be open-minded in in taking in these theories that they're feeding you. If you feel a little lost at first, that's fine. Just kind of keep keep going and then you'll start to understand things a little more and a little more and a little more. The second issue I have, <laughs> it's even hard to kind of explain it, but when they present you with certain theories, um, you have to apply those theories to certain scenes of the movie. And in doing so, I found that it made me ask certain questions that I never really got answers to because I felt that the explanation, I guess, of the rules that we're applying weren't thoroughly explained. I needed a little bit more information to go off of because it just kept making me ask more and more questions. And I'm gonna have to watch the movie again to kind of see if maybe I get those answers, but there, I felt that there was kind of a discrepancy with certain, certain ways that these scenes played out. So that's all I'm really gonna say. <laughs> I know it's vague for those of you who haven't seen it, but um, I think maybe for those that have seen it, you might kind of get what I'm saying. Um, and maybe I'll just have a different discussion um, live video or something about this movie later. But for now, this is all you get, guys. <laughs> so yeah, that's it, guys. This is my spoiler-free review for Tenet. Um, other than those two little qualms I had with the movie, it was phenomenal, I thought. Definitely worth checking out your drive-in for. Um, just, yeah, highly, highly recommend. Or just wait till it comes out on whatever streaming service. But yeah, just an awesome movie in my opinion. 
But if you're the type of person that doesn't like to use their noggin while watching a movie, this is not for you guys. Because <laughs> yeah, you definitely have to pay close attention to everything they're saying and everything you're seeing on screen at all times to kind of understand what's going on. And But you know, if you love puzzles and you like Chris Nolan's other movies, you probably will love this uh, as I did. But yeah, it just depends what kind of person you are, I guess. But anyways, guys, that's about it for this video. If you liked it, give me a like or subscribe or both. I don't hate it. And you catch me on Twitter and on Instagram at Flicks and Comics. And I guess I'll catch you all over there. Later.